What up, nerds? Welcome to Sanchineering. Today we're doing recycle and bypass for chemical process analysis. So let's say we have a system. It could be anything, but let's say we have an inflow and an outflow. We're going to be talking about using a recycle stream. These are super common in industry because they can be used to optimize your engineering system. A recycle stream is simply just taking one of your streams and feeding it back to another inflow. Now what happens if we do some mass balance on the system? Remember, when in doubt, n equals out. And first thing we like to do is the overall mass balance. So what we have to do is draw our system boundaries, okay, and apply the mass balance equations. And notice how the overall mass balance doesn't contain the recycle stream within the system boundaries. Applying the equation, we have all the flow rates coming in, so I'm gonna equal to all the flow rates coming out. In this case, we just have one in and one out, so that's our first equation. And we can do the same thing for the system boundary on just the system itself. Again, it doesn't contain the recycle stream. So we're gonna to have to label m.3 and m.2 because these are going to be different. So the system mass balance is just gonna be, m.3 is gonna be equal to m.2. But now notice for the recycle stream, we have a junction coming in and a junction coming out. We can treat these as tiny little systems and do mass balance on these. So carefully notice what arrows are coming in and out of the system. So if you can see, we have mass one coming in, the recycle stream coming in, and M3 coming out. So if we write the equation for the mass balance, it's gonna be M1 plus M of the recycle stream is equal to M3. And notice how this time we use the recycle stream in the junction. Remember, the junction is sort of like a small system that we're looking at. And for the second junction where the stream is coming out, we have Again, what's going into the system is M.2, and what's coming out is the recycle stream and the outflow. And now try to see what's gonna be the concentration of the recycle stream. Notice how it is actually going to be the same as M. out. This used to be really tricky for me, but just think of a cup of water. You take a cup of water from the ocean. So the ocean is at some concentration of chloride, right? And then you grab a cup of water and you extract that cup of water out. Even though it's a smaller system of the same ocean, it's still the same concentration. And by the way, we can apply the same principles for a bypass stream. So recycle, you're sending some of your outfeed back into, into your system. And for bypass, we're bypassing the junction to our outflow, not going into the system, okay? So let's take a look at an example. So as usual, I want you to try this example, pause the video, try to work out all the problems as much as you can, and answer all the questions, okay? Assuming you've done that, we're gonna draw our system just like before. We have our humidifier with our mass flow coming in. This time we're gonna be doing a mole balance. So I have moles and our mole balance coming out into the room. And our recycle stream is gonna be NR. So for this example, we have a liquid water stream because wet air is dehumidified to drier air and liquid water. We also have our junction points, so we can label junction one and junction two, just like before. Now applying for the example. And now reading the problem, we can begin to fill out the mole fractions of water vapor. So I'm gonna use blue, so we have four mole percent of water in the first stream. And remember to take the balance, just take 100% minus whatever you know. And 1.7 mole percent of water that's gonna be for what's coming out of the dehumidifier. This is honestly the, probably the trickiest part of the entire problem, just trying to figure out what's really coming in and out of the system and labeling your system diagram. And again, think about what is the concentration out of your junction points, okay? If you have to, just rewatch the video and try to understand what that means. We have the blended stream entering the unit containing 2.3 mole percent water. So this is filled out for us and therefore we know the air mole fraction. I'm gonna use blue capital W for water and green capital A for air. And we have a basis of 100 moles of dehumidified air. So we can label that in our stream as well. So now we're done with this process flow diagram. And again, I want you to try it by yourself. See how much you can come up with because honestly, this is the hardest part. The rest of it, you know now it's just mass balance. So applying the mass balance, when in doubt, n equals out. And also don't forget the definition of mole fraction. So we're gonna draw our system boundary for our overall mass balance. So what's coming in, set it equal to what's coming out. So we have one equal to N3 plus 100. And our overall water balance, same thing, but this time we use the definition of mole fraction. So we multiply these together. And now take a look at that. We have two equations, two unknowns. Filling out the rest is just algebra. 
and we can obtain N3 for our equation. So some quick tips for me, for the algebra, I like to put everything on one side so I'm less likely to mess up, but also careful with careless mistakes. So when I was redoing this problem, I said that 0.017 times 100 is 17, which is definitely not correct. And if you make a mistake like that, you're gonna get some wrong answers. So be really careful with those tricky little mistakes. But nonetheless, we have our N3. We can plug it into our first equation. But by the way, we have an alternate way to solve this. Instead of doing our overall water mass balance, we can do our overall air balance. And we only have one stream coming in and one stream coming out. So it's an easier way to solve for N3. Regardless, you're still gonna get N3 as 2.39 moles and N1 is gonna be 102 moles. Okay, do the algebra yourself. Make sure I'm doing the right algebra. Okay, so we can erase that and work on our next part. We can go about this in a few different ways. But I like to start with the dehumidifier and answer the overall mass balance again. So again, what's coming in and set equal to what's coming out, N2, N3, and N4. This time we know N3, so we can plug that in. And we can do an alcohol balance as well. Remember, I'm not doing water because there's only gonna be one equation for alcohol. And so again, we have two equations, two unknowns. Time for some algebraic gymnastics. Setting these two equations, plug them, plugging them in, solving the algebra. Again, being really careful with those sign changes and we get our answer. Remember, just be really careful how you write your mole fractions. If you like to replace the numbers as you go, plug them in, but just careful with your calculations on your calculator, or you can leave it in terms of the variables. Just be consistent and careful with those pesky little mistakes, because those are what really get you. Okay, so now what we can do is the mass balance for the junction. So now we need the mole fractions for the, for the recycle streams. And remember, the recycle stream can be written by grabbing a cup of water from the ocean, meaning it's the same concentration. So we have the same concentration right here for the mole fraction of water and air. So now we can do the mass balance on junction one. So what's coming in for the overall mass balance, set it equal to what's coming out. So the first stream plus the recycle stream, the outstream, and do the same thing for water balance. So we have two equations and two unknowns just like before. And solve it for yourself and you'll see that we'll get the same thing for N2 as 393. And the recycle stream, the final answer is 290 moles. And that's it. So as a recap, I know I skipped a lot of steps on the algebra, but I did that on purpose to see if you would actually do it yourself. Remember to think about the concept of what the recycle stream means. For me, I like to picture in my head, I like to think that I'm grabbing a cup of water from the ocean, it's the same concentration. And don't just apply this for recycle streams. Do this for any type of engineering problem. That's the best way to conceptualize and understand the principles. And remember the order of the algebra doesn't matter as long as you're doing the algebra correctly. Just don't mess up. I know that it can be tricky, but that's where practice comes in. And I'm telling you, nine times out of 10, it's not the chemi that, that messes you up. It's just the algebra. So be really careful with those careless mistakes. Hey nerds, hope you learned from and enjoyed the video. Check out the links down below to download the notes for this video as a PDF or a PowerPoint. Hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Sanchez for any questions or requests for videos or you can just leave a comment in the description. Definitely check out my website, sanchengineering.weebly.com. I got articles, PDFs, cheat sheets, calculators, and it's all completely free. Cause I know for a fact that when I was a broke college student, I didn't pay for anything unless absolutely necessary. So that's why everything on Sanchengineering is completely free. All I ask is at the very least, you simply subscribe and share my videos with your friends and classmates if you enjoyed it. That way, we can all help each other. Don't forget to share this with your friends, family, and dogs.